my heart is deeply troubled with insecurities. Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that preser persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles we may be one heart and one soul made steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. With great joy, let us now welcome Reverend Father Arnel Jason Bergonia Mengote as he addresses a few words to us. Let us greet him with a round of applause. Mayong buntag ka na itong tanan. And good morning to all of us. Subtitle to. Actually, nagbunot-bunot yun ming tulo. Kinsag yun mo hatag o uh, gratitude speech na mong tulo. O natimingan yun nga ako ay nabunutan kay di ay ang tulok at choices arnil ang nakasuwat <laughs> mo nang gitawag na tong chance ako na ay chance ang duha why chance together with our Blessed Mother, help of Christians, our souls proclaims the greatness of the Lord, for He has done great things for us. Today, one of the most precious gifts has been poured unto us, again, the gift of priesthood. And I'm sure it is not a chance but a choice. First of all, I would like to thank the good Lord for He has first and foremost chose this for us. That is why we took the, our theme, 
Jeremiah 3.15 Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart. Yes, though unworthy and sinful, it is God's choice. Yet a challenge for us, because to be of service to His people needs that shepherd's heart, especially in this new normal wherein it is so difficult to identify the sheep. Kay nga naman, naka-face mask naman o naka-face shield. Bitaw. It is hard to identify because with this pandemic, we are challenged, both our lives and our faith. The Holy Father Pope Francis, in his 2013 Holy Thursday homily, simplified it when he said, smell like the sheep. With God's divine providence, the intercession of our Blessed Mother, and with, the, with your prayers, we hope to live our priestly life in that shepherd's heart. Our heartfelt gratitude to our ordaining bishop, His Excellency, Most Reverend Jose Palma. The Archbishop of Cebu. We as a group first met you, Bishop, when we were about to begin our novitiate. That was 2011 when we had the opportunity to visit, your, to visit you in the Archbishop's Palace. That was an inspiring and a grace-filled encounter. Now, we are blessed and fortunate that through your laying of hands, we receive this very special gift, the gift of priesthood. Thank you so much, Bishop. To Father Fidel Orindain, our provincial superior, thank you for your, for your wisdom and guide. Ever since our formation years, you were already there. In fact, you were our advisor when we were fourth year in the aspirant aid. Personally, that was the time that I mastered my craft in welding, carpentry, landscaping, and even flower decorations. Now that you are our superior, I look forward to learning more things. Thank you, Father. To Father Godo Atienza, our Provincial Emeritus, maraming salamat din po for journeying with us. Those six years under your fatherly guidance inspired us to be both Don Bosco and Francis de Sales of today. Apil na itong mga corny jokes ni mo, Father. Naka-inspired po ito na mo. Thank you so much, Father Godo. To all our confers, who with your capacities and limitations, with your good examples and sometimes your struggles, indeed inspired us into this blessed life. Dili na po mag-mention og mga pangalan kay Basig, mahiubos niya si Father Andy Satura. Thank you so much, kaninyong tanan. To all our FIS and FIN formators, a, mil th a million thanks for accompanying us in our vocation journey. From the moment we entered Don Bosco Formation Center in Lawaan until the day we left the Theologate in Don Bosco School of Theology in Seminario ng Don Bosco, Paranaque. Your, heart, your fatherly guidance and loving kindness has made us through in our difficulties and challenges. To Father Jerry Martin, SDB, the Provincial Superior of the FIN Province, Father Renato Molina, 
our rector and seminarian of Don Bosco community, and Father Ray de la Cruz, our rector in Don Bosco School of Theology. Maraming, maraming salamat po. We would like to thank also all the people who assisted us spiritually and financially in our vocation journey. Thank you so much for your generosity. If God chose this vocation for us, I'm sure that He chose you too to make this into reality. Thank you so much. We would like to thank our family, especially our parents, who also chose to forego their expectations and dreams for their quote-unquote handsome sons. Quote-unquote panakay, it's subject for argument. <laughs> if you want to argue, add lang mo sa mong mama. Anyway, thank you so much for your unending support. Even though in my case, kada uli na ko, mangutan na si mama. Sigurado ka dong, magpari ka. Karon ni uli na ko, I'm sure, dili na na siya mangutan na. To our beloved parents, Tatay Ramon, Nanay Adelina, my parents, to Tatay Pepito, Senior, and Nanay Leo Cadia, the parents of, Reverend, of Father Ray Nante, to Tatay Felix and Nanay Nenita, parents of Father Leo, thank you so much. You are one of the important reasons why we are here today. Needless to say, your appreci our appreciation to you, but let this priesthood be an expression of our love and gratitude to you. To all of you who are here today, and those who are watching us online, our relatives, friends, Loved ones, thank you for your unending support to our dear FMA sisters and members of the Salesian family. We know that you are always there for us. You are our number one prayer warriors. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. I would like to take this opportunity also to thank the Sisters of Mary Boys Town and Girls Town School, who first inspired me into this priestly life way back in my high school days. Thank you, for Sister. Our sincere thanks, too, to Father Conesto Jeronimo, the administrator, Father Randy Figuracion, director, and parish priest, and all the staff of this beautiful Archdiocesan Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes for accommodating us. To our choir, the aspirants of the Bosco Formation Center, headed by Father Ande Mendoza, also our in charge of our formation, with Father Vince, the choir master. To the Salesian Music Ministry, headed by Sir Nino Banyares. Thank you so much to the Social Communication Office, headed by Father Keith Amodia, who are responsible for the documentation, our stampita, the live streaming, among others. Thank you so much, Father Kitoy. To Father Eugene Maglasang for preaching our family's retreat and to the staff of Provincial House. Thank you so much. Last but not the least, sa punong abala to make this occasion successful, Father Mel Rasiles, Rasalis, brother. Sobra, sobra, sobrang salamat po. And to all of you who have made this contribution to make this event possible, our heartfelt gratitude. Thank you, Pope. <clears throat> Finally, 
to all the young people whom we promised to offer our lives. Thank you for allowing us to journey with you and to become part of your life, even with our limitations. Don Bosco, our beloved founder, offered his very life until his last breath for the young people. We hope and pray as well to be fathers, brothers, good friends, and companions to all those who will be entrusted to us. Thank you so much, our dear young people. And to all of us here present, and those who are with us via live streaming, please pray for us, as Mama Margaret said to Don Bosco, to begin to celebrate the Mass is to begin to suffer. Yes, indeed it is. But we know you are all there for us and God with us. Thank you so much, Po, and God bless us all. Before we end this celebration, the Salesian Society of St. John Bosco and the whole Salesian family would like to take this opportunity to express our deep gratitude to the parents of the newly ordained priests. We honor them today because they were the first channels of God's love for their sons and the instruments of their son's divine vocation. Above all, we thank them for their great and selfless generosity in offering their son to become a Salesian priest of Don Bosco for the salvation of poor youth. Therefore, we invite the representatives of the parents of our newly ordained priest to come forward and receive on their behalf a token of appreciation from His Excellency, Most Reverend Archbishop Jose Palma, and from our Provincial Superior, Reverend Father Fidel Orendain. Mrs. Fele Vergonio and Mr. Pedro Vergonio, on behalf of Mr. Ramon Lorezo Mengote and Mrs. Adelina Dulfo Vergonio, parents of Reverend Father Arnel Jason Vergonio Mengote. Ms. Estrella Tapere and Mr. John Lloyd Pulutan, on behalf of Ms. Mr. Felix Agapay Pulutan and Mrs. Nenita Figura Pulutan, parents of Reverend Father Leo Figura Pulutan. Mrs. Shirley Sabilita Manonog and Mrs. Joan Perolino Sukalip on behalf of Mr. Pepito Uban Sabilita Sr. and Mrs. Leocadia Tomenio Sabilita, parents of Reverend Father Reynante Tomenio Sabilita. Some important announcements. After the final blessing, picture taking with the newly ordained priest will be restricted. Only the ordaining bishop and the concelebrating priests will have a picture taken with the newly ordained. The rest of the faithful are asked to remain seated in your places. Strictly, no one is allowed to move out of the pews until given a signal by our ushers. The traditional kissing of the anointed hands of the newly ordained priest will be omitted in observance of strict health protocols. I repeat, there will be no kissing of the hands nor asking for a personal blessing. After the Mass, the Salesians, novices, and our honored guests are invited for some refreshments in the parish social hall at the second floor of the PPC building behind the church. 
Similarly, the guests of our newly ordained priests are invited to proceed to their assigned rooms at the PPC building behind the church for a little salo salo. The rest of the members of the Salesian family are invited to the Lourdes Kindergarten School Canteen for their refreshments. Please all stand. Before I give the final blessing, let us take this special moment to honor our blessed mother, Mary, help of Christians. Grateful to her for obtaining for us the gift of three newly ordained priests for the good of the church. Let us also ask that she may continue to intercede for us and obtain for us the graces we need. to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Almighty and everlasting God, you prepared through the cooperation of the Holy Spirit the body and soul of the glorious Virgin and Mother Mary, so that she would merit to become the worthy dwelling place of your Son. 
grant that through the intercession of her, whose commemoration we joyfully celebrate, we may be free from the present evils and from eternal death through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. The masses and the going peace. Thanks be to God. invite all the solutions for the picture taken together with our newly ordained. <laughs> 